try to paint this bit green, but it doesn't look very green. Okay, thank you. I didn't pay for it, Lauren. You did buy tap on the screen all fucking week. We've got stage one, stage two, stage three. This is number two. Just you wait till fucking number three comes out, which will be at the end of the month. So no, we're not yet finished. Just you wait till I get the new hat. That's got a big fuck off rock on top of it. <sighs> What's good for one is good for another. Except I'm not actually sitting there talking about a certain person. I'm just getting you affected by just wearing a t-shirt, having things up on my wall. And the next one will be having a fucking hat as well. I won't say nothing. But you know. We'll have all the broccoli. Uh, hey guys. Angie's fucking worse than me. Not being funny. Angie's gonna. Uh, one day she's fucking ready to wake up. At least I'm trying to get help. Do you know what I mean? I was waiting for my key worker. I'm gonna get assigned to a key worker. <coughs> I done the first bit, what was it? A week and a half ago. I've not done loads wrong. Yeah, for all those pretend problems, you see. If it didn't do the things that I do, I wouldn't get me universal credit, would I? Let's be honest, I wouldn't get me bed paid for either. Um, I am gonna start doing driving lessons because I've heard as well, I can get a fucking brand new fucking brand spanking car from DWP. So that, 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 that will be my next girl. A nice fucking brand new card Zoom, from DWP. That'll get you all affected, won't it? Hey! <clears throat> Can't forget fucking Christmas time. Fucking up Christmas time. Got to go to the fucking food bank for Christmas time because they give you a ten pound voucher for every person that goes there. You get a fucking ten pound voucher for the meat place across the other side. So we'll do that as well. Report me all you want because back and all you can't do shit. Can't do shit. Fucking hell. I'll learn to drive just to get a fucking free car and then I'll sell it. Or I'll, you know, give it to someone else and they can show me around. Yo, you get my new car, but you have to take me places. That's the deal. So if anyone wants to be my new, um, yeah, no, you can't. You can't actually sell it, but you can get someone to drive it for you. You can get someone to drive it for you, Louise. Thank you. You still pay for it. It comes out your fucking benefits. Five pounds a week, love. What's five pounds a week when you're getting fucking one thousand five hundred a month in universal credit? And then on top of that, you know, you get fucking like three, four thousand pounds on TikTok. Five pounds a week is fucking nothing. Ah. 
And she gets it as well. And she gets benefits as well because um, they were all sitting there talking about me and saying about how I get benefits being on universal credit, blah, 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 because um, I drink too much alcohol. Well, so does Angie, so Angie gets fucking benefits as well for drinking too much alcohol. So there you go. Well, it's good for one, it's good for another. <sighs> yeah, if I can ever put fucking faith on me claim as well. That way I get fucking tax credits, yeah, I get that as well. That's what it's called. Yeah. Faith is like a fucking human being, do you know what I mean? So I have to get money for her as well. And the money I get alone is not enough. It's fuck yeah, fucking doggy credit. Doggy credit. Thank you very much. Bravo, the broccoli. Maureen, thank you. <coughs> I'm on this account tonight. I've abandoned it for, for how long? Fucking hell. I was getting <laughs> a fucking funny story, this. I was getting free dentists. I'm not sure if you've you ever done it. I clicked the wrong fucking box. So when it came off um, you no, no site of the fucking ESA. When it came off that I had to cancel it all because um, obviously I was getting too much on TikTok. A true story this is. I went to the dentist and um, I clicked the fucking wrong box, didn't I? So now the NHS are fucking fine on me. And I've just ignored the letters. What happens when NHS finds you and you ignore the letters? I swear to God, on, on my baby's life, it's fucking true. They pay me for the fucking services. No, sorry, they've, um, they've charged me for the services that I've used that I didn't pay for and then put a fine on top of that. No, it wasn't a thousand. It, it was in like the hundreds. It weren't a thousand. If I looked properly in my paperwork, I'd be able to find it somewhere. I've had about two or three letters of bailiffs. What do you want to fucking take me fucking microwave? Fuck you off. I was gonna say something then, but fucking hell, you'll all come for me. You are fucking hell, take my dog, she's fucking worth more. Joking, joking. You can get jail, not for a couple of hundred pounds. Not a chance, will you go jail for a couple of hundred pounds? I don't have no TVs, they're not mine. TV is mine. That's what I'll say. Invite them in for a party. You have to prove that, yeah, no, it's so like receipts and that. I don't have receipts. Other people have receipts. <laughs> I've done it for fucking years, fuck off. I sat there, paid the things, and then give the receipt to somebody else. Yeah, do me a favour and just keep that, you know. If anyone says it, it's yours, not mine. And you pay for it.
Oh, boss bitch. You're not a boss bitch. You're fucking jealous bitch. So there you go. I just pay. I find it hard doing that, you know, like paying for stuff. Paying for like, debts. What's the point? I could pay for a fucking holiday, not debt. And now I've got a good credit rating because of um, a name change. Because my credit rating was like zero, literally fucking zero. But now it's like five, six hundred, I think my credit rating is. Excuse me. But all that, like from years and years ago, it all gets dropped. After like so many years, it gets dropped. So if you don't contact them, you don't say anything to anyone um, regarding that. It just gets fucking dropped. It's not my death, I'm sorry. I thought it was five. So yeah, maybe seven. I personally thought it was five. Most of my debts now, um, they're just getting squashed because I've not claimed them. Ever receive a letter from you know this that the other? You'll think it's a scary letter. Just don't do nothing. Don't do nothing at all. I've had bailiffs at my property right for a water bill. Right, and um, I didn't open the door. They were all fucking, they were fucking suited and booted, nice car. Came to my property, two of them. I shit myself. So much. That day, I went to the citizen's advice because I, I fucking really needed, needed advice on what to do. They done fucking whatever on their behalf. Uh, so that was like two years moving in here, bearing in mind I've been here for what, like eight years now. So for like five years, they've not contacted me. Water has not contacted me for that bill. They fucking squashed it, don't know how they did it. I don't know what the CAB did for that to happen. They filled out a fucking couple of forms and um, told me would I be able to get a letter off my doctor if needs be? And I said yes, of course. Gone. Gone. Never heard nothing about it, about it since. I still don't pay for water now. I do not pay for water now. And I've never had a bill in this property for water in this property. The bill that they were chasing me up on was from my last property and that's why the bailiffs came here within the two years that I've, that I've moved here it was because of the bill in the last place but I've never been billed for here don't know why but I'm not complaining I'm not sure if it's like part of the rent or something no I won't get, I won't get it now I think I think I think it is part of the rent <clears throat> because we also have um, like aerial so on the tenancy agreement they are liable to the aerial so if my if my signal fucks up I've had them out numerous times if my signal fucks up I don't have to pay for that I just ring you know who I'm supposed to ring for fucking repairs the first time was funny because she, she was sat there adamant. No, that's what you need to do, not for us. We don't deal with that. Boom, there it is. It's on your tenancy agreement. You can have a look at it yourself and it states, you are required to sort out my aerial for my TV. Thank you very much. Someone came out the next day and sorted out my fucking TV aerial. Didn't have to pay it. 
because I was right and they were wrong. I don't even know if I've got a fucking water meter. No idea. My two properties I was billed, but never this one. But I do think it gets paid like for the like the rent. So you've got your rent, you've got your service charge, you've got your area, you've got your gardening, the fur, cleaners. I think that cleaner needs to be sat though. I might bring that forward. I might not have no, no experience in cleaning, but fucking hell, if you look at my flat, I can quite clearly fucking clean. It doesn't take a genius, you don't need a fucking A star level to go around cleaning. So my proposition, let me fucking clean the block. I do a better job than any of these fucking service providers, people. You don't even fucking pick me mat up to clean under it. You just leave it there and clean round it. What about the windows on the doors? You don't fucking clean the windows on the doors. I have to do that. So I'm paying. Pay my fucking bell over a tenner for some woman to come round and do a fucking a shit job. Never paid water 13 years. Let's see. If I had water for this property, they would 100% fucking bill me. Didn't do very much. Council tax then five of the week. They accepted it. Boom. The Wi Fi comes out my bank, and um, it was last month. I was supposed to get a five or so. This is me down to the T. I finally, after months and months, rang up because uh, my broadband is £47 a month or 46 and it shouldn't be that much. Uh, it's because it was like the end of contract, blah, blah, blah. Gem Zeno, thank you. So, I finally rang them up after months and months of not doing so. A fibre broadband, some was supposed to come out. That was the start of this month. No one came out. Well, I'm still paying fucking £47. And I'm still not rang them back up. When it comes to sorting things like that out, it's not for me. Do you like the t-shirt, Gemma? I pretend I'm broccoli. I will have all the broccoli t-shirts. They came, they came um, two weeks early and I said, well, my girl live date isn't until this date. I think it was like the third or the fifth of this month. So they were gonna do something um, which would have cut off my actual broadband to put the fibre in there, but that fibre broadband wasn't gonna go live until like the third or the fifth of this month, which would have meant I would have been without broadband. 
Gem Zealand, thank you. So that's why I turned them away and they were understanding with that as well. They did say that I, I am correct with what I'm saying, blah, blah, blah. But they didn't come out on that date. <sighs> so I have no idea. Your views have dropped down. Do you? Beverly Love, I'd like to see you go live and get the views that I get, you know what I mean? It's not all about that. I'm on my own, I'm sitting here, I'm fucking chilling. Do me a favour and get the fuck out of my chat because I don't need you as a viewer either, to be fair. And there's been about 20, 30 people already that have fucking been muted out my chat. Rather none of it. It's weird of the way people are so obsessed about that, do you know what I mean? It's not even your live stream, so why should you have concern about my likes or my views or my gifts? Fuck. That is obsessive right there. I get the hat at the end of the month. So keep tapping the screen please guys. Oh. No, I'm not with BT. There's a copyright in the kitchen. And you'll all be getting sued. And it's a win-win situation for me because I'll get rich on your fucking money that you have to pay me for using my kitchen because I'll sue you. So yeah. Once I get my new uh, wallpaper, there'll be a copyright on that as well. And if you're going to use my kitchen on the live stream to get views, get gifts, um, I will be speaking to my solicitor. And he'll do all the necessary work in getting you sued. I don't mind the five of the week either. As long as I'm getting money for it, you know. A five row beaks fucking sound. It's actually quite funny to see that, you know, people think that I'm being 100% serious and I've got all these people on TikTok using my background to try and get me affected. But what you don't realise it's all for a fucking laugh in the first place, and it has been. Rich has got more people using my screen, my background, which gives me more clout. So thank you very much. It's a win-win situation for me. <coughs> Thank you guys. I'm only putting that wallpaper in the kitchen there, black and white, to make it look like a prison. Okay, thank you. Ah. You alright guys? Is that a threat, Jack? 
come on, let's be honest. You've got someone from Scotland that has put up a GoFundMe page to get the funds to come to Liverpool to do whatever to me. Bearing in mind, back and out, the woman's had her kids taken off her, do you know what I mean? And she's prioritising me over her children. Seize the great British summer with This woman is prioritising me over her children that have been taken away from her care. She wants to come down and <laughs> to me. The GoFundMe is still up. It's still up. If only the weather was as reliable. I've got checked it in a couple of days to be fair. The last time we did check it was still up. We've all been there. MOT's coming up. Michael's sitting there making up a GoFund, but it doesn't even cost that much to come to Liverpool. <laughs> it doesn't cost that much to come to Liverpool. And I know because someone from Scotland used to fucking come down to Liverpool in the first place. So I know exactly how much it costs from Scotland to Liverpool. And it's not what you're asking. What do you want to do? Fucking pick up a bag along the way. By the time you get the money and you come down here, you would have fucking ordered yourself something. And you'll be fucking off your face. So there you go. Imagine your dream holiday made possible by comparing cheap flights on a kayak. Walking on an unspoiled goes on for miles beach on the Sardinian coast. Plunging into the spring. No, no one's doing it. I was going to, to be honest. This is the life. I was going to donate a fiver. But then, um. A sudden happens. Can anyone find the link for me again? So I don't have to go through like, my emails. I'll donate a fibre to it. If it's still on, I will donate a fibre to it. Someone block that Evan, please. Just my Actually, no, don't, don't, don't. I like a bit of hate. Pop up notification at regular intervals to remind you how long you've been playing. Paddy Power Games. It's a plus pickup of the word. Do you belong here? Stand next to me. Distributing medical supplies in a town just hit by a hurricane. What's your gut saying? What the hell you've done? I've just read your message. What do you think about um video video of? I didn't actually know that until I watched the video. Cause I hadn't watched it at the time. Hey Linz. Mmm. That lens, I'm just saying that Grimson or Crimson in her box, honestly, I think she, he, that person is as big as, uh, big as troll and Zia, they're trolling her. Do it, they're saying do it live, they don't care about the, what, that, the fact that, you know, it is a crime what she's doing, do it, do it, do it, because of their hatred towards me. They are trolling her, 100%, because they're also giving her false information, they're actually getting, telling her to do it, do you get what I'm saying? But she has to be responsible for her own actions, I suppose. Of her showing, oh god, I've got it all, god, I've got all the videos. I know, I am. It's only a low percentage. Does that make sense? Are you in the cupboard? I've got no bloody light bulb. I can't remember you in doxing life and I watch you every day. No, she's lying. I didn't dox her. Nope. Did not do that. She's saying we put up pictures of her family. So that's, mal that's, that's malicious communications. That's slander. So, you know, if she wants to send it to the police, she's very, uh, in her right to do so. And I can talk about this because I don't actually have a case yet. 
Do you get what I'm saying? Well, until I found out she was doxing my messages as well. The lies of life is unreal. I told you. Did I not tell you what she's like? I t told you. The lies. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for the heart, Mies. I'm not ashamed of my struggles. Exactly, Lindsay. You shouldn't be ashamed of um, if, if, if I feel that way. Do you get what I'm saying? She's strange, isn't Yeah. Apparently, oh, oh my god, that is a lie! That would be all those FYP. I put up pictures. No, I did not. I looked at them, yeah, but I didn't put them up. Do you get what I'm saying? I first thought that account was what she created. I didn't realise, number one, that it was a, you know, thingy bob. And you can't, it's not doxing. It's, it was on TikTok. There's an account on TikTok. And she needs to go for that person who put the, the account up. Em's talking about you. I know. She loves me, really. <laughs> Box. Hi, uh. Um, I was just really confused about, like, what this hair train was. So I just went in and I asked, Life, what, why is she on a hair train about you? And she said, there isn't a hair train. She said that for three solid days, you and Lens were going at her. No. Um, so she finally okay. clapped back. I'll tell you why I've mentioned she did lies. say. I'll tell you why a couple of times I've mentioned lies. Every time, I, like, for example, I thought, like Prince Brett were doing, uh, is gonna is doing an exposure, he does these exposures, does FYP, whatever, yeah, talking about me. This person's talking about me. She's always in the comments and she makes comments. This is why I walked away and she's making malicious comments about me, yeah, in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. That is why yeah. I'm seen those. Yeah, no, because I just didn't understand how it started, but she did just say that you doxed her pictures, you doxed her address, you doxed her children. Not doxing. No, it's not doxing. Doxing is private information. It's already on TikTok. There's oh, an account. you see, that, that wasn't said. No, there's an account on here, yeah, that is exposing life. I think I know okay. her. Right, so they put all the details on there. Now, when I first had a look, I thought it was life herself. I'd put it up. I was a little bit confused on on on, on the video, right? Yeah. Um, I will put one picture, which was her, up, and I said, "I oh, actually, I don't know if I want to do this because this is someone that's exposing her." Right? I didn't realize that at the time, but it's definitely not doxed. Yeah. It was already on a public platform. Like, for example, you know, you might go into someone exposing me, and they've got all videos of me. It was there. They've put it up there. They've doxed it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's um, no, no. She, uh, but basically, when that's I just said, I said, sorry, who? What's her reaction to her action? Yeah, oh, God, yeah. But I, when I said to her, I said, who doxed you? She said, Angie and Linz. And I went, what? Well. So I just was a little bit confused. But that's all, Angie. That's all I wanted to jump up and say. All right. <sighs> Bye. See you later. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's all out there. It's still doxing. No. Can you no, up, please. Huh? Can you kick me out, please? Oh, I don't know who this is. Um, no, it's like I said, it's that person she needs to go to, not us. Not once did I um, say her name, her address. I never said that on my life. I'm not responsible for the comments. So she can run with whatever she wants to run with. I post it and tag you. Okay, thank you. Apparently you have a kid's photo. There you go, another uh, malicious communications. There. I don't have her photos. Why the hell will I have her kid's photos? First of all, her kids are in her 20s. They're not children. They're in her 20s, number one. Number two, she's saying this, making up lies. She's trying to be relevant, 100%. Why the hell would I have her children's photos? It's on that account that's on TikTok. There's an account of her kids. When I say kids, they're in their 20s, yeah? On here. There's someone, I don't know who put it up. I can have my, I can have, well, guess. I mean, who really hated her life at the time? That's always in her box now. Uh, she's, I know, she, I know, Ems, I will have a look in a minute. She playing Paige and toying for doxing also. Yeah, exactly. Everyone's apparently a doxer to, to uh, life. Where's Lynn's gone? I thought he came in the box. Oh, there you are. 
Can I just say, Ange, um, I only become aware... I don't know aware. how many times I said this. If it's on a public platform, it's not doxing. It was already exactly. out there. Um, just on, on TikTok, Linz. No, I didn't. I didn't give permission to give any of those um, messages exactly. out. Yeah, it, now I can tell you, it is serious. Why I'm doxing? I'm not going to say much, but it is serious, yes. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, Ange, that she actually brought, like, you had a room full of over a thousand people in your live. She was in your box going, oh, my God, somebody's doxing my address. Someone's doxing my address. So a lot of people have seen that page. She's, she's been doxed since June. Like, she even sent us the fucking screenshot of the actual page that was doxing her. So make it make sense. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly that. Yeah, she, her and Wayne's got their own addictions to deal with. They can't be sitting there on the little high horse going on about me. When Wayne the crackhead had actually got that high on crack, he'd actually went on to it. Was it Nottingham? Oh, yeah. Hospital? Oh, yeah. Do you know you're in the box? The way you got me. So he even went on Nottingham Hospital's rooftop that high on crack. They had to get many police and negotiators in to try and get him down, close the car park off. So don't sit in the aisles with me. Yeah, before I forget, can I also say, she's saying about uh, uh, us doxing, how did we get of pictures? Ask yourself, how did we get pictures of a dead, a house? Because it's already on TikTok. We didn't get it. I was just made aware of it by someone. I can't remember who, I don't remember someone in the box. That's it. That person doxed it. Do you get what I'm saying? But what she's done is doc, trying to trying to get back, you know. And she got a cheek actually, to be honest, to go into the police after her doxing messages. And then they're even going on about me drinking alcohol, like, um, yeah, oh, I never yeah. used yeah. to drink. Is that, hate is that what they're trying to do? Yeah. Is it, yeah. Oh, is, and don't forget, Linz's drinking and all this time, and knowing you've got a kid at home, you know what I mean. That's what they're doing. Yeah. It's a hate life. Angie, I only drink when I haven't got my son when he stops at his other nana's. That's the only time I drink. So I'm I'm allowed to have a drink. They all probably sit there having a drink themselves. Even Life on the Edge has drink. Do you know what I mean? That's I've never poured. I. Yeah, you don't have to explain yourself. She gone. She don't need to justify. She expose me as much as the one. Seriously. I know it ends as. Them saying about your aunt. Oh, Ems is talking about me, but I just can't be bothered with her. She'll get bored after tonight. The thing with Em, she hasn't doxxed anyone, anything, not that I know of anyway. Exactly, it's not getting the Lord to have a goddamn drink. But do you see what they're trying to do? Trying to look, uh, make Linz look as bad as possible. You know, she's on drugs, she's drinking, she's got a kid. How really, honestly hateful. I honestly did not know life was this hateful and bitter. What a bitter, bitter old woman. The only reason why Angie mentioned her in the first place was because Angie could constantly see her in the comments of Hate Lives commenting about her. Yeah. And then me and you just, I'm sure, I remember it clearly, you were in the box and you were like, why is she so obsessed? And I was like, yeah, like, why is she so obsessed with If she doesn't like it, why is she always in the Hate Lives about you? And then that's when she come out with doxing all of my private WhatsApp messages. Um, Against the he law. Seems the law. Like, he seems to really hate you more than me, and I don't know why, because I don't think you've even said anything about it or done anything. No, and it's because they know that you've been you've been exposed a million times on this app, you expose yourself, so they're literally just going for like your biggest supporters. Do you know what I mean? Trying to think that they're gonna crack me when they're not. He has been to show more messages, but believe me, she won't be showing any more messages. Oh, that's not fair, by the way. I'm just saying that, you know, as in the police. <laughs> just in case you take that the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. Well, you all know how slow they are, though, so I don't know. You know what I mean? Might be a year later. <laughs> Hello, Princess. Hi, Angie. Um, I've only been watching. Oh, how I've are you? I've never really been up. Oh, sorry, I'm 25. Oh, okay. 
Um, I've I've been watching, but I've never been up or anything. I was just watching Ems, and she's really saying some horrible stuff. Like it's it's going like it's. I, I mean, I've seen like videos. Only recently, I've seen videos of what she used to do on Facebook Lives, and I'm not going to repeat the things that she used to do on here because it's not allowed. But um, I think it 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 speaks volumes on who she is as a person and. Yeah, it's just, it's not fair the way that she's treating you and what she's doing. And she's wearing that horrible t-shirt as well. It's not, it's yeah. not right. Yeah, I've been told, I've been told by many people. It's I not think it's... But you're 25, right? Yes, I promise yeah. I'm 25, yeah. Down, yeah. Um, I think it's horrible. I think the best thing to do is just ignore it. Um, Probably maybe even block. But she was, she's also said that... um someone from her side is leaking messages to Corey, but I don't know how true that is and what those messages could be. So just thought and I'd, I'd tell you. the Facebook page? What Facebook? Sorry, uh, she, she used to go live on Facebook when Marcus was still alive. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. And there's some, like, videos on YouTube showing her, like, abuse towards him and everything. It's horrible to watch. Do you yeah. know what I think the best approach is? Don't even talk about her because that's what she wants. Just, yeah, really just, you it, just ignore yeah. it. I'll tell you why I'm not bothered with it because I know she does it with everyone. I, don't, I just think she's not a well person. Do you know what I mean? she's not winning do you know what i mean like she her and her little cronies can have a little laugh all they want but if you're not reacting and everyone in the chat isn't yes. talking about it then it doesn't matter like fuck her yes. <laughs> guys i'm 25 i promise i've got no reason to lie about it i would show you my passport but i kind of don't want to show my face or my name no don't show your passport on here don't you know because uh yeah honestly don't do that yeah, no, I don't think it's the best idea. I do sound like a child. I get that all the time. So I get it, but I am 25, I promise. 21st of oh, February, 1999. All right, well, I'm a terrible mess. <laughs> I assume you're 85, it's 85, for God's sake, 25. I am, yeah. I wouldn't know about it. No, no, that's, that's fine. I, I wish I was born in 99. <laughs> I just got the last of the 90s. Michael has is, is been a very good mod putting people in the boxes. Thank you so much. And now she's got some weird man in the live next to him, the one that was there the other day. This is lives. And he's just gone, oh, well, you don't want me to go back to the old me because I'm very dangerous and my granddad was one of the crazy <laughs> twins. <laughs> it's funny, but basically I'm she's cringing. got some strange man in there that you don't know threatening you. Yeah, is that the one who literally was saying, I, I got a screen recorder of him saying, yeah, I've got every single one of those I, IP addresses and they are now wanted by the police. Like, oh, I'm shaking in my boots. If I was live, I'd be cringing, tell him to shut the fuck up. Well, this if you do phone enough. him, you've, you've got him threatening you. Yeah. Who's and he's a wanted woman by the police, according to them, because he's, um, he's got our IP addresses. <laughs> Some grim, some powerful. I can't remember what his name is. Oh, that's comical, isn't it? Crimson, oh crimson skull. Makes you really hard putting that in your name. <laughs> <laughs> and you definitely won't be on TikTok if you're that hard, mate. From him frets about. <laughs> so he's one of the crazy. He's his dad. dad. Yeah, his <laughs> granddad was one of the. Cry twins friends. Anybody oh, friends? I was going to say because none of the cry twins had kids, did they? If somebody's going to do something, they don't tell you they're going to do it, and they don't sit and say, "Oh, I'm going to do this," or "I'm big and bad." People that are genuinely yeah, bad don't say it. No, I totally agree. Totally, yeah. yeah I it's don't, actually quite embarrassing. I don't, I don't see them wearing yeah. TikTok either. Yeah, I mean. No, if you're like a proper gangster, you wouldn't be running around on TikTok saying, you know, Most telling people like what don't you're about. Use media. And then she's keeping him in the box. Yeah, so if there was a man up here saying that about her, she'd be like, look what they're saying and letting that man sit in the box and say all that stuff that is going to do this and that and turn bad. But instead, she was agreeing. She was agreeing. 
And can I just say, you know, she's like all pally pally with Wayne now. Didn't Wayne say to Paige, I'm going to come for your colour each and every time I speak to you? Being outright racist, yet she yeah. goes on about having two mixed race daughters, but she's hanging about with a racist, yet you're sitting there criticising Angie and what she does. Piss off.